This next question of ours is a very good question. We are given that y is equal to mx, that is the line through the origin, is a chord of the circle having radius equals a and whose diameter is along the x axis. We want to find the equation of that circle whose diameter is that chord y equals mx and we also need to find the locus of the center of the circle. Now, in order to proceed with this question, we make the figure. This is a circle whose radius is equal to a and which is along the di and whose diameter is along the x axis. So, its center will be a comma 0. Now, let us say this is a line p y equals mx and let us call this circle equals s equals 0 which is x minus a whole square plus y minus 0 whole square equals a square. Now, this is our chord and we want to find the equation of that circle which is having diameter, this is not a circle. We just need to find the circle whose diameter is this chord. Let us say this is A, this is B. So, we want to find that circle having AB as the diameter. Now, first of all, the equation of the given circle is x minus A whole square plus y square equals A square, that is x square plus y square minus 2ax equals 0. And our line is, this is S and our P line is y minus mx equals 0. So, here we use family concept. The circle passing through the points of intersections of the circle and a given line S and P respectively is given by S plus lambda P equals 0. This we have written using the family concept. The family of lines concept we learned in straight lines also. Here also we can use the family concept. So, our S is x square plus y square minus 2ax equals 0 and our P is y minus mx equals 0. So, putting in that equation we get the circle will be equal to x square minus y square minus 2ax plus lambda times y minus mx equals 0. The center of this circle very clearly can be found out to be equal to 2 plus 2a plus m lambda by 2 comma minus lambda by 2. Now, the center since it is lying on the line y equals mx, so its y coordinate will be equal to m times its x coordinate. So, minus lambda by 2 equals m times 2a plus m lambda by 2 which gives minus lambda equals 2 a m plus m square lambda which gives lambda equals minus 2 a m upon 1 plus m square. We would rewrite the whole thing again. We have got lambda equals minus 2 a m upon 1 plus m square. So, a circle which was x square plus y square minus 2 a x plus lambda times that is minus 2 a m upon 1 plus m square times y minus mx equals 0, which gives the equation of circle as 1 plus m square into x square plus y square minus 2a times x plus my equals 0. Hence, we have found out the equation of circle passing through the points of intersection of the line p equals 0 and the circle s equals to 0. That is the circle having the chord y equals mx as the diameter. So, now we need to find out the locus of center of this circle. Let us call the center coordinates as h comma k. So, h will be equal to very clearly a upon 1 plus m square and k will be very easily found out directly by since it is m times uh, the x coordinate, so we can write ma upon 1 plus m square. Now, we need to find the locus of center of this circle. 
so we have to eliminate m so dividing these two equations we get k upon h equals m putting the value of m in this equation we will get h equals a upon 1 plus k square by h square that is a h square upon h square plus k square h and h square get cancelled we get h square plus k square equals a h on replacing h by x k by y as we always do we get x square plus y square equals a x which is the desired locus of the center of this circle which we found in the first part of the question hence the final answer is this is the equation of the circle and this is the equation or the locus of the center of this circle these are our final answers